Hello again, folks. And uh, boy, am I glad to be home again. <laughs> How does a giant um, taco sound? <laughs> Sounds great. Junior and I spent a couple of nights in the woods south of here. We had a great time. We we biked a lot. We uh, we swam in a lake, ate some s'mores. It was wonderful. And boy, is it exhausting. <laughs> and uh, it was 98 degrees at one point, so the tent got a little stuffy. <laughs> But, you know, it's all about making memories, so it was it was good. And I got to tell you, you know, no matter what's ailing you, I think a walk or a trip into the woods is, uh, is healing. <laughs> I sure left feeling an awful lot better than I did when I showed up. It just, uh, it's so relaxing. It's just good for the soul, I think. But anywho, I, uh, I returned, and uh, lo and behold, a uh, package was awaiting for me, <laughs> and I am very excited about it. As you may have seen on a recent video, I am on a quest to find one of every USA stamp, asterisk, asterisk. I am not going to get the $90,000 uh, variety of the uh, one cent imperf, but you know, maybe. <laughs> I'm not going to say never. There are 92 of them around, so maybe I'll find one of them. Uh, but I am going to try to find as many as I can. So this is hopefully going to help in that effort. I uh, do not anticipate any great fines. I paid... $48.98 or something like that for three albums. And I saw enough pictures to get me interested, but I don't anticipate any older, uh, higher end stamps. What I am hoping for is to not knock over my camera. <laughs> What I'm hoping for are Mint Never Hinge stamps. That's what I'm ultimately hoping for. And I'm hoping to find um, some that I need for my collection. That's, that's the goal. The auction listing showed at least one album that had... Well, maybe they do smell a little bit. Bummer. Um, that had mint never hinged or that had uh mounts in them so that gave me reason to think that maybe I'll, I'll get lucky and find some that are mint never hinged okay let me check it again yeah it's a little musty and i know that several of these do not have many stamps this one might be one nice all right i'll be able to find a use for that Here we go. I love the space stamps. And I do believe these are mint never hinged. Boom, nice. All right, right off the bat, I have found one that is mint never hinged. I'm gonna try not to destroy the mount because I do want to repurpose these books. That hurt the stamp a little bit, but there you go. Mint never hinged. I think I do have this one, but it gives me reason to hope that for some of the ones that I don't have, I will find them in here. Excellent. Good start. God, I love the NASA stamps so much, or the space stamps. Let's flip to the front. See what I find. Yeah, so I, I am not anticipating anything too surprising in the, in the early sections. Alright. 
it is a complete book. If I am able to air this out, I will use this and repurpose it. All right, so there you go. Now, I'm into the section of Diablo number two, and I actually think I might need that one. There is a chance that I do. I'm going to look through that later, so that could be fun. Nice. Couple more, the coil, cool. What the seller said was that two of the books did not have many stamps and one of them had more. So we'll see what that means. I actually know I need that stamp. So I'm gonna take a peek. And if I'm lucky, support our youth. <laughs> I wonder what support our youth needs. Issued during National Youth Week, sponsored by the Order of Elks on their 100th anniversary. Well, there, you, there you go. The 100th anniversary of the Elks. Boarded our youth, and did they give me a mint never hinged? Boom. For the collection. Awesome! Ah, oh, fantastic. Thank you, Elks, for supporting our youth. <laughs> there was an Elk Lodge in my town growing up. It's the strangest thing. You always kind of like rode by thinking, what goes on in the Elks Club? I mean, I probably can guess, but you know, when you're a kid, you just kind of don't know much. I, you know, I think I need that special delivery stamp too. Okay, cool. I'm feeling pleased. First book. I love the Legend of Sleepy Hollow stamp. Isn't that a cool stamp? That's a cool stamp. And some more. I have yet to move on to Davo number three. I'm still working on number two, so some of these might find a home in that. And then, uh, nice. All right, you know, not too bad for the first one. I saw a special delivery on here down the road a little bit. I know I need it. Oh, cool. Ah, oh, that's a cool airmail stamp. Nice. 1971. I think I need that one too. Heck yeah. Ah, oh, nice. And these. That's a cool picture of Rushmore. And here is the one that I know I need for my book. Okay, so I'm through the first and... Oh, well, oh, well, yes, I think I can fix that. Boom. Another mint never hinged. Nice! Already two for my book. Put those up there, and I'll go through the others later. Excellent. And then, like I said, the main reason I pulled the trigger on this was the hope that I would find some for my collection, of course. But then I also, I want to repurpose these pages and this album. As long as I can get the, the smell out a little bit, uh, I'll be able to use these for another purpose at some point. So there's the first. And there's the second. I like the wrapping. Thank you to the seller. If you have any tips for how to get mildew smell out of books, drop them in the comment section below. I'd appreciate it. Oh, so the last one was $8.95. This one says $15.95. So maybe <laughs> it's got more stamps. I kind of doubt it, but we'll see. Oh, it has an older one. Well, that's nice. Yeah. 
Hey, it does have some more. Nice. <gasps> oh, this might actually have some for my uh, Davo number one. We'll see. Oh, cool. Those look in great shape. I will go through and see if these will fill some holes in the, in the collection. Great shape. Blockaded by a fleet at sea and an American and French army ashore, Cornwallis surrendered at Yorktown in 1781, ending the American Revolution. There you go. I do think if some of these are meant never hinge, they I will they might very well fill some holes. That's exciting to me. I love the... There's a lot more in here than I thought. I love the uh, National Parks. How a fitting, fitting to see these stamps after having spent the past couple of nights in the state park. If you ever want to make a great pancake... Cook a, cook a hot hamburger in the same pan uh, and, you know, don't clean it too well. <laughs> and then in the morning, cook your pancakes in the grease from the hamburger. Oh, my gosh, are they delicious. <laughs> Maybe not the healthiest of all treats in the world, but God, what a moment. Sitting... Eating my pancakes with my boy as the forest woke up. It was pretty cool. We'll check those. Ooh, some more to check. Sweet. I don't think I have these right now. Oh, fantastic. I'm going to check it right now. Mint never hinged. Heck yeah. So as I, as I told uh, in another video, I... Uh, am doing Mint Never Hinged from 30 on. And it turns out that a lot of the ones in my collection had hinges. So these are going to, even though they're common stamps, they're not as common with Mint Never Hinged. And uh, they're going to fill, hopefully fill some gaps in my collection. here. Look at that. That's fantastic. Oh, there's a lot here. Love it. This is exactly the time that I'm looking at collecting to right now. So fantastic. Whoa. Wow. Look at that. That's a beautiful stamp. I didn't know they went this far. 82. Heck yeah. Oh, that's pretty. That's cool. Okay, so I thought... All right, now I'm feeling like I got my money's worth. That's fantastic. And like I said, at the end, I will do a recap of how many in here I pulled out that were mint never hinged. And give you a sense of how I did. There's a lot of mint hinged in here, though. I love the space stamps. Excellent. This is a very full. This is much more full than I thought it was. Fantastic. Oh, it keeps going. I am sure the face value in here alone is significant. That's fantastic. I 
I love that one. I love that block. That's just so cool. I don't know that I have a numbered one. The plate block. Look at that plate block number. Two, 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 two. That's pretty cool. Nice. I had no idea that there were 80s in here. This is fantastic. This is just fantastic. Huh. Well, I think this will take me a long ways down the road, hoping a lot of these are mint never hinged. We shall see. And no big surprises, but, you know, I think the surprise was just how many were here. I really didn't know. The listing was not all that conclusive or that obvious. What was in here? Oh, and a duck stamp. Cool! 1968 duck stamp. New. Heck yeah! Oh, I love duck stamps. I haven't, I haven't shown you all my duck stamps yet. I will. <laughs> I love them. I don't have that one. Ah, oh, it makes me happy. <laughs> all right. I am very pleased. This was a good little pickup for, for a guy that's trying to collect one of every, uh, stamp in as economic of a way as I can. Oh, speaking of which, somewhere on the, on there, I'm going to put, that's how much I have currently spent with today's purchases included. And here's the last one. So she, the, the seller on the listing said that two of them did not have many. One of them had more was how she put it. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and assume that that last one was the one that had more. And I will just rifle through this. And do let me know if you have tips for how to get mildew stains out of yeah, ooh, that smells like a basement. Let me just do this real quick because I have a feeling I'm going to get allergic to this. <laughs> Stick around. Any stamps at all. No. Oh, a couple. All right, and, uh, and as promised... Well, it goes to show you, you just never know what you're going to find. I, um, I was a little disappointed about the condition of those albums. I'm not going to lie. What did work out is the fact that almost all of the ones that were in mounts are never hinged. <laughs> I cannot believe it. So I ended up with uh, an awful lot to add to my uh, find every American stamp uh, quest. And I am really pleased, including these. These are early. So that's 1929. And I don't have this one in this condition, but I do now. And this one too, this is 1931. It goes to show you, too, that you you don't know what you have in an album until you go through it and look at each of the individual stamps and figure out their specific condition. Then you can start to get a sense of uh, what you've got. So, all in all, I am pleased. I think I did just fine. And it has taken me a little bit further down the road in my effort to find uh, every USA stamp. And I'll zero in on this one. Devil's Tower is an amazing place. If any of you have been, feel free to tell your story in the comment section below. Otherwise, put it on a bucket list because it is remarkable. And on that note, I, uh, I thank you for watching. Please do like the video if you liked it and subscribe to the channel. It means a great deal to me. Until next time.